which verbal expression is represented by, it says, 1 half times n minus 3. So I'm going to distribute the 1 half before I even look at these, so I'm ready for any way they might write this. So 1 half times n minus 3 equals what? Well, 1 half times n is 1 half n, and then minus 1 half times 3, which is minus 1.5. So they might present it that way as well. So here they were 1 half n decreased by 3. Well, I might say no for that one because that sounds like this to me. 1 half n minus 3. But here, notice that n and minus 3 comes first before you multiply it by a half. Here they write 1 half n subtracted from 3. Well, I'm going to say no there because 1 half n subtracted from 3 will be written like this, almost the backwards of the first one. Now it says 3, the difference of 1 half n and 3. I would say no because that sounds like like this, right? 1 half n minus 3, the difference of 1 half n and 3. It's the equivalent of the first one. So last 4 has to be our answer, and that makes sense if you read it. They write 1 half the difference of n and 3. That means we're finding the difference of n and 3 and taking 1 half of that difference, multiplying of. So that's the key word there that helps me realize that 4 is correct. All right, hope that helped.